just got a new star season alpha 3.24.3 ptu patch just dropped in just a few minutes ago and uh they made a few changes let's see what's in it before we get into this video i'd like to let y'all know that i'm doing a giveaway for an lti argo atlas in order to participate all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of december let's get into this video all right guys so cig just dropped a new patch a 3.24.3 patch uh, they made a few updates in this one testing focus remains the same as the previous ones um, but this one on the features again play under the ships and vehicles category the crusader intrepid polish it says based on the player's test and feedback on the intrepid's firepower we have upgraded the default loadout from size 3 to size 4 uh, klwe laser repeaters which is what i think they should have started off with um but what they do need to consider is a variant of the a fighter variant of the exact same ship and giving it a size five hard point so now we'll be talking <laughs> but anyways we'll take size four all right um so next here says the star lancer max co-pilot has uh radar access various star lancer max lighting lod and art polish has been done they've updated the quantum fuel values for most ships to fit uh designated archetype and range this will increase some while decreasing others. Bombs now inherits the hostility of the launcher entity. AI and PDCs can now detect hostile bombs. And oh, that's nice. Hostile bombs. Mm, that's nice. And uh, the therapy medical additional breakable parts and destructible VFX polish. Uh, Terrapin and Hornet variant afterburner polish has also been done. Undercore tech for the entity performance polish has also been done done as well under bug fixes they fixed a few uh they prevented pdc firing at their ownerships ordinances uh that's probably what happened to us the other night they fixed an issue where radar is in a center of uh, elevated above the intended radar position this is for the ages eclipse they fixed an issue where the ship medical uh bed screens are stretched and cannot be interacted with they fix an issue where the freelancer has invulnerable spots causing it to take no damage they fix an issue where uh, the polaris fuses are destroyed easily and it shuts power off the ship and it says here they've disabled the fuse systems as the setup is not intended for 3.24.3 they fix an issue where the audio cue for enabling and disabling weapons and shields via the power management mfd does not play for the rsi polaris they fix an issue where the star map ui will briefly pop up over the radar when the player exits the co-pilot seat they fix an issue where the anvil terrapin lacks complete landing gear collision allowing players to walk through them they fix an issue where it is not possible to change from light state manually anywhere but engineering for the crusader intrepid they fix an issue where the f7a mark 2 nose turret is equipable on the f7c mark 2 variant they fix an issue where when moving from the iae falls via the elevator to the iae uh, main lobby is slow to stream in along with this is one client crash and one server crash fix before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industry is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.